During the past few months, I have seen a certain trend float around on our view page, that being the color wheel challenge. Essentially, artists will draw a character for each corresponding color on the color wheel and draw them in that slot. I saw this challenge and I decided myself to partake. I don't know what else to say, so let's just begin. The first color is red, and when I was thinking of red characters, the first one that popped into my head was Ladybug. Gonna be real guys, I have not kept up with Miraculous Ladybug at all. I mean, that's a lie. I've seen everything up to season 4, but I think season 4 just really wore me out because I kinda just started getting frustrated with the show. And then season 5 came out and I heard it was making people frustrated too. So, not to say I don't like the show, but I'm just on a little hiatus from watching it at the moment. But I decided to draw Ladybug and Tiki, give her some fun colors, and actually really, really enjoyed drawing her because it's been a hot second since I've drawn Marinette. So I really enjoyed it. For the color orange, I was having a hard time thinking of a character. And whilst I was looking around my room, my eyes met with my Ponyo poster. And I thought, oh, I should draw Ponyo. So that is what I did. Sadly enough, after completing my light art for Ponyo, I thought of the character Daisy, which I actually really would rather have drawn, but you know, Ponyo is still a good choice. I enjoy drawing her. I wanted to give her a spunky pose that showed her personality with her little green pail bucket that she gets from Sosuke, and she just has a funny expression. I tried to play around with the stylization of Ponyo. I don't necessarily know if I like it or not, but... You know, art is subjective. Someone could like it, someone could not. I don't know how I feel about it, but it's fine. Yellow! Can you guess who I chose for yellow? I actually was thinking about drawing Sosuke because drawing Sosuke and Ponyo next to each other would have been cute. But I thought of drawing Pikachu and it just felt right because Pikachu is like the poster child of yellow. So just a little quick little Pika in there for your troubles. Also, I don't know why I drew him so chonky, so there we go. Chonky Chew for yellow. Green! <laughs> I obviously had to draw my green haired boy, my beloved, my one and only Haku. Um, if you are a long time viewer of my channel, you know that Haku and I have some history. But long story short, um, he's my favorite Ghibli character, so I really, really wanted to draw him, and it was so fun. Again, I was playing around with the stylization of him. I had him do the little thing he does in the beginning, where he, like, blows, like, a spell to the bathhouse to help Shihiro run away. So that's kind of what I had him kind of mimicking with his hand. And, yeah, fun fact, I used no reference for Haku because I was that confident I had his design memorized. <sighs> Cries. Anyways, blue, y'all saw it coming. Um, I did not plan to become a Leo girly, and yet here we are. Um, yeah, I obviously had to draw him for blue, and I think... Actually, not to toot my own horn, but this Leo drawing is like my favorite out of the whole wheel, probably next to Haku, but I just had a lot of fun drawing him. I stole my color palette from an illustration I already have done of Leo, but I don't know, something about his expression and the colors and the rendering, it just came together and I was really pleased with how I drew Leo. For dark blue, I couldn't really think of a character that immediately came to my head, but I did think about drawing Gitara from Avatar because dark blue seems to be one of her core colors. So that's who I drew. I decided to draw her having a more serious or angry expression. I don't know. Katara and the show can be pretty moody. <laughs> moody. <laughs> moody. And yeah, I have not really drawn her that much over the years, but I will say that I decided to draw her with her hair out and not in her season one braid. And I think that really made the drawing process more fun for me. I also think that her hair rendering came out nice. I included a lot of different tones, like blues and purples and yellows, just to make it pop ever so more. That was Katara. And for purple, <sighs> I do Donnie. Because why not? I love Donnie and Leo. They are my favorite of the Turtle Brothers. And when I saw the blue and colored wheels 
I, I just had to draw them. You know, it just felt right. I can't draw one without drawing the other. The Disaster Twins must stay together. So, yeah, that was my drawing of Donnie. And the last color on the wheel was pink. And I had a rather difficult time trying to figure out which character I would draw. But ultimately, I decided on my favorite magical girl, Sakura Kinamoto from Cardcaptor Sakura. Cardcaptor Sakura is not a perfect show and has definitely has its own flaws, but it also has a lot of good strengths. And I, one of the things I love about it is Sakura. She's such a, she's such a good main character and I just love everything about her. She's such a bubbly, kind person, and someone I aspire to be, and she's my favorite protagonist out of all the magical girl animes I watched. I decided to give her her classic outfit, although I did realize that after completing the piece, I did not add the little ribbons on her hat, so if something looks off in the picture, that's what looks off. And, yeah. I was playing with the stylization for pretty much every single character in this piece, and when I tried to do Sakura, she kind of turned out my least favorite. But yeah, that was all the characters I did for the color wheel challenge! And yeah, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked this video, make sure you head over to my channel and check out all the other content I've made. And yeah, thank you so 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 much for watching, I will see you in my next video, Bye bye bye